A company such as ours is something more than just the manufacturing facilities that make up our 26 plants throughout the world. Alice Chalmers, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. While they may have been headquartered in Milwaukee, the suburb of West Dallas to be exact, they had factories all over the United States, and even some throughout the world. We covered the West Dallas works in a previous video, so today we'll look at some of the other Alice Chalmers plants. Please note this isn't meant to be the definitive list. They had factories opening and closing almost constantly, but we'll try to cover the main ones. La Crosse, Wisconsin. This plow, made by hand in La Crosse, Wisconsin in 1848, is an example. It consisted of a frog, which acted as a foundation for all the other parts, a mold board, a share, and a beam to haul and guide the plow. One hundred years later, this plow bottom, also built at La Crosse, consisted of a frog or foundation, a mold board, a share, and a beam to pull and guide the bottom. So the original steel plows have not changed much in a century. Alice Chalmers purchased the La Crosse Plow Company in 1929. The factory produced Alice Chalmers plows, disc harrows, cultivators, and grain drills until about 1969 when the plant was closed and production was moved to Laporte. A lot of the factory is gone, but a portion has recently been restored and is now known as Landmark by the Rivers. Gadsden, Alabama, home of the Alice Chalmers G, also the home of the number no. 7 mower, and the early home of Alice Chalmers cotton pickers. Some transformers were made there as well. Alice Chalmers closed the plant in 1984. It's now the home of Stamped Products Incorporated. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Alice Chalmers acquired the Pittsburgh Transformer Company in 1927. They continued to make transformers there until 1975 when the plant was closed. Lexington, South Carolina. Quite possibly the shortest lived Alice Chalmers factory. Built in 1968 for Alice Chalmers lawn and garden equipment production. When the government challenged Alice Chalmers purchase of simplicity as they considered it a monopoly. Once the legal disputes were settled in 1973, the plant was closed and production moved back to the Simplicity factory. The Lexington plant is probably best known as the home of the Terra Tiger. Oxnard, California. A wide variety of implements can speedily be attached to this low-cost toolbar, which fulfills a long list of needs encountered in many kinds of farming and which greatly simplifies implement requirements. An assortment of heavy-duty tools includes the right answer under any and all conditions. Alice Chalmers acquired the Brennus Manufacturing Company in 1938. They built a new factory there in 1949. Disc harrows, tool carriers, and subsoilers were manufactured here. The plant operated until 1981. It is now the home of Gill's Onions. Boston, Massachusetts. Alice Chalmers purchased the Condit Electrical Manufacturing Company in 1931, used for the production of circuit breakers. The plant was closed in the early 1970s. Harvey, Illinois. Alice Chalmers needed a proven diesel engine, so they purchased the Buddha Engine Company in 1953. Early Alice Chalmers forklifts were also built here. Around 1961, a new modern engine factory was built. And Alice Chalmers knows these engines will perform because they're built in the most modern of engine manufacturing plants. Prototypes are tested in space-age test cells to prove their design. Skilled craftsmen assemble the production models. Every engine built is run in on special test stands before shipment for installation. They continued to build engines there until 1986. It's now the home of Sterling Site Access Solutions. St. Thomas, Ontario. Motor and diesel locomotive controls were made here. The factory was closed in 1962 and production moved to Quebec. Norwood, Ohio. Alice Chalmers purchased the Bullock Manufacturing Company in 1905. Pumps and motors were manufactured here. In 1978, Alice Chalmers entered a joint venture with Siemens. Siemens bought the plant in 1985. They still operate it to this day. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Alice Chalmers purchased the LaPlante Choate Manufacturing Company in 1952. They continued building their line of motor scrapers. The TS-200 motor scraper loads fast, then unloads on the run so it can hurry back for another load has no peer in the excavating business. 
The TS-300 does the same kind of a job in even bigger bites, has a whole host of exclusive features with special appeal for the man with a big job that must be finished up fast. Information on the factory is tough to find, but it closed around 1967. Appleton, Wisconsin. Alice Chalmers purchased the Valley Iron Works in 1959. The factory was used for building paper making machinery. I couldn't find when the plant closed, but it was still listed in the 1985 Alice Chalmers telephone directory. York, Pennsylvania. Bought in 1958 from S. Morgan Smith Company. Used for the production of hydro turbines. Sold to the J.M. Voith Company in 1986. They still use it to this day. Terre Haute, Indiana. Built in 1952 for jet engine components. When that didn't pan out, electrical equipment was made here. Alice Chalmers closed the plant in 1962. A portion of the factory was moved to West Dallas, where it became the fabrication shop. Deerfield, Illinois and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. The Deerfield plant was built in 1950 for the Tractomotive Corp, home of the Tractomotive wheel loaders. It was bought by Alice Chalmers in 1959. The plant became part of Fiat Alice in 1974. The plant was closed in 1980. The only thing I could find about the Wauwatosa plant is that it was used for the research and development of fuel cells. Matson, Illinois, home of Alice Chalmers lift trucks. The factory was built in the early 1970s. It closed in 1986. Essendine, England. Opened in the 1950s, the D270, D272, and ED40 tractors were built there. The plant closed around 1982. AC Mexicana, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Opened in 1963 and manufactured Alice Chalmers forklifts. After Gleaner quit building conventional combines, they built their own version called the L4, now known as AC Fabrication. Springfield, Illinois. Alice Chalmers bought the Monarch Tractor Company in 1928. The factory became the main home of Alice Chalmers construction equipment. Crawler tractors, motor graders, bulldozers, and snowplows rolled out of the factory doors. In 1974, the plant became part of Fiat Alice. It closed in 1985. The factory has since been demolished. There is one surviving building, the Training Center. It's now home of the Illinois Office of the State Fire Marshal. Lachine, Quebec, Canada. Part of Alice Chalmers Canada Limited. Information on this plant is hard to find, but they made industrial equipment. Laporte, Indiana. The Advance Rumley Company. Home of the famous oil pole tractors. Alice Chalmers bought them in 1931, giving the company a huge boost in the farm equipment division with Rumley's 2,500 dealers and 24 branch houses. The new all-crop harvester was constructed there. So many were built that Laporte became known as the harvest capital of the world. Corn pickers, roto balers, and forage harvesters were built there as well. Many of their military vehicles also came from Laporte. After the all crop was discontinued and the lacrosse plant closed, tillage tools production moved to Laporte. The quiet Alice Chalmers acoustic cab was also built there. The plant was closed in 1984. Most of the factory was torn down, but a portion survives as the home of Metal Tech Incorporated. Simplicity, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Simplicity started building lawn and garden equipment for Alice Chalmers in 1961. Alice purchased the company in 1965. Simplicity employees bought it back in 1983. Briggs and Stratton bought the company in 2004. They closed the plant in 2008. Gleaner, Independence, Missouri. Let's visit the home of Gleaner. The Alice Chalmers works at Independence, Missouri. Headquarters of Combine Leadership and see for ourselves the quality and features which add up to superior combine performance embodied in the Gleaner. To paraphrase an old show business slogan, through these doors pass the best combines in the world. Alice Chalmers purchased Gleaner in 1955. The plant survived the Deutz takeover in 1985. In 1991, they were bought by Eggco. The plant was closed in 2000 and production moved to Heston, Kansas. The site is now called Alice Chalmers Industrial Park. Last on our list, even though it's not a factory, is the Parts Distribution Center in Batavia, Illinois. Built by Alice Chalmers and still used by Agco, the one surviving location from Alice Chalmers Farm Equipment Division.
We hope you enjoyed our brief look at the other Alice Chalmers factories. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.